Hi viewers. So today's topic is conservative nature of electric field, right? So what is the conservative nature? So we know that already we have learned the conservative nature of force also in the previous classes in the lower classes. Conservative nature of the force can be written as del cross F is equals to zero, right? So it indeed it is called conservative nature of force. What once again del cross F is equals to zero. So cross product of vector must be zero. Then this vector is called conservative nature. This vector has conservative nature. So here instead of here in the place of F, we are going to prove that del cross E is equals to zero. If you prove this one, del cross E is equals to zero, then E is called conservative nature of electric field. So for this, let me explain. Uh, let us consider the case of conservative nature of electric field E. We know that the electric field E at a distance R due to point charge plus Q placed at origin O. See the diagram. In this diagram, let it is x axis, y axis and it is origin. At the origin plus charge is kept. Right? So then, we know that the electric field E at a distance R due to point charge plus Q placed at origin E. R is in O is. So when it is a uh, positive charge is here, if you want to know the electric field at this point at a distance R, then electric field equation or electric field formula E can be written as E is equals to 1 by 4 phi epsilon naught into Q by R square. Right? So this is at a distance R from the positive charge. Let it is equation number 1. And next, further, consider any two points. So, further, next, consider any two points in the field. See, it is a field. So, here, charge is, if you, when you keep on charge here, around it, what happens, field will form. So, in this field, if you consider any two points, so, I consider two points. One point is A point, other point is B point. Okay. Further consider any two points A and B in the electric field. A region of charge plus Q is shown in the second figure. It is second figure. The potential difference between two points A and B is given by potential difference between two points between C potential difference between the two points A and B. So potential difference, if you had to calculate the potential difference from the electric field, there is a relation between the electric field and potential difference. That is potential difference is equal to negative gradient negative of minus E bar dot ds. E bar dot dr. Alright. So this is the relation between potential, electric potential and electric field. Right. V is equals to minus integral E bar dr. E bar dr. So this is what it is a, a calculating the potential from the electric field. So for this I have written it is like this. Okay, integral E bar, it is actually bar E bar dr. dr is the length right is equals to where to where from a to b from a point to b point so that is the integration a to b is equals to. so in the place of e substitute the formula right and among them which are constant take outside them so here dr means only r can be integrable and the remaining all the quantities are constant so that is why they are taken outside and the limits also here r a to r b here from o a point at a distance r a b point at a distance r b so that is where limits r a to r b 
and when we integrate 1 by integration of 1 integration of 1 by r square with respect to dr is minus 1 by r 1 by r square integration is minus 1 by r so here written it is like this here actually minus present next and here if you substitute here minus actually minus comes okay so but integration after integration what we have to do we have to substitute limits see here once again what is the formula q by 4 phi epsilon naught integral uh, 1 by r square into dr where r a to r b right after integration what we get it is as it is q by 4 phi epsilon naught epsilon 4 pi epsilon naught okay into minus 1 by r where to where from r a to r r a to r b okay first substitute the r b value next substitute the r a value but here minus is there so for let me write q by 4 pi epsilon naught into take it minus outside minus outside 1 by r first to b value R B minus 1 by R A is written. Right? R B minus R A. But if you multiply minus inside, so this one plus and it one minus. So 1 by R A plus 1, A, 1 by R A minus 1 by R B comes. So that is why it is written like this. So if you have to calculate, you do it separately by substituting the limit. Then finally you can get. Here one step, uh, two steps are removed or reduced next if a and b are the same point then if a and b are the same point then the distance also same when these two are the same point then distance also same when the distance same then r a r b is m then this term what happens zero right so that is zero now see so when it is zero integral a to b e bar dot d a e bar dot d r is zero. For this apply the Stokes theorem. Stokes theorem is what? Stokes theorem is suppose there is a vector a vector a bar into d r is is equals to double integral here single integral it is called line integral double integral del cross a bar into d s right so single integral is converted into double integral but in the place of what we get del cross a we get so here by applying the stokes theorem so this is can be written as like this but actually it is zero so this is also substituted here then it is zero means del cross e is also zero so when the del cross is zero then del cross e is zero then e is called e e e has conservative nature right he has conservative nature so by this we have proved electric field has conservative nature okay friends thank you